Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. I'm Kathy and I garden in Zone 5B, 6A in Northwest Ohio. I'm currently working on a series of videos that highlight plants that are thriving in my garden. We'll be right back. We had a storm last night, so I thought I better come out and check the garden out and make sure nothing was damaged too bad. And overall, it looks pretty good. Um, these black-eyed Susans, or brown-eyed Susans, got blown over just a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, they're pretty tall and they're not real strong limbs, so that doesn't really surprise me. In fact, I'm surprised they're not worse. This is my native garden out here, and most everything looks pretty good and isn't too bad. All of the plants in this north garden are looking okay. We even have some more of the royal catch flies blooming. That's good. But let's go over here. Left my hose out last night and check out the tomato plants because I see one here that got broken. So I'm gonna have to come cut that back and restake that tomato. But the rest of them look like they did okay. They're standing up there pretty good. I do have some cherry tomatoes that are getting ripe. So I'll be coming out and pick cherry tomatoes pretty soon. As I go back up towards the house, the elderberry bush looks okay. As does the uh, meadowsweet. Looks good. The honeysuckle is pretty sturdy, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I had already tied up this perennial sunflower, so it's looking okay so it didn't get blown over but the agastache is kind of splayed out here so I'm gonna have to get that tied up because it's now laying on my black and blue salvia we don't want that so I'll have to come out here and get that pulled up and tied up Seems like I would learn to do that before the storm hit, but I don't. And the Autumn Joy sedum looks okay over there. Sometimes that will get damaged by storms if there's a lot of rain and wind. This Agastache here is also kind of flopping over. But the coneflowers look okay. There wasn't too much damage on them. And if we come over here to the a milkweed patch over here, that's looking pretty good. Needs weeded, but we'll get to that. See some chewy damage here. I hope there's a Monarch caterpillar on there somewhere, but I don't see it. I'm glad I trimmed my meadow sage back so it didn't get splayed too much. And oh, I see a monarch caterpillar down here on a thistle. 
don't know what he's doing down here. Let's pick him up and put him up here on a milkweed. He should be up here. So we'll put him up there on that milkweed. That is my first monarch caterpillar. So we'll let him sit up there. He doesn't look big enough to be going to set a pupa stage, but he may have been. I probably should have left him where he was at. But he'll find his way back down. My genital flocks took a hit. It's laying all over the top of the Millennium Allium and the speed well back there so I'm definitely going to have to get this put up and this black eyed Susan is kind of hung out here out over the path but I think that might straighten itself back up when it dries up I was expecting my Supertunias to be kind of flattened out, but they're looking pretty good. There's the purple ones over here. So that's good. And this is my mess of grain garden. And it's not looking too bad. The senna is Laying over a little bit, but not too bad. And the milkweed here is looking pretty good. Joe Pie is looking okay. But we've got a big old hole in the cup plants here. And that's because they are all hanging out over here. And they're laying in the sneezeweed. So I'm going to have to come out and fix that after a while. Uh, this milkweed looks okay. So that's about it. Everything else is looking pretty good. The garden of weeding didn't have any damage, so that was looking okay. So we got lucky this time. Didn't have a lot of things blown over, so... I'll, it's like I'll be getting out here and getting some things taken care of. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Join us again for the next one. Bye.